wants to lead the prayer first. Please arrange your chairs and sit properly. Before we start our session, let me introduce myself first. I'm Alsani Samlani from Zamboanga Peninsula State University and I'm your math teacher for today. So if you have any question or clarification in this class, please don't be ashamed. Approach me if you have a problem. It's okay? Okay. We'll check your attendance first. Who absent in this class? Anyone? Okay, very good. Perfect attendance. I have something to ask with your class. Are you familiar with the scrambled letters or the scrambled words? Anyone? Okay, very good. Before we start our discussion for today, we have an activity first. Group yourself into five groups. I will give the scrambled letters each of the groups. Then, all you have to do is fix the words that related in the trigonometry. And one of your members will present it in front of you. I will give you 15 minutes to finish your activity. Your time start now. 3, 2, 1, time's up. Okay, group 1 will present first. Then the group 2, group 3, group 4, and the last is group 5. Okay, very good class. All of your answers are correct. So how are you feeling today? Are you enjoyed with our activity? Are you sure? Since you have already an idea, what do you think is our topic for today? Anyone? Yes, Joshua? No? Yes, Alaziz? No? Anyone? Okay, our topic for today is Solving Right Triangle Using Pythagorean Theorem. It is the advanced algebra and it's related in a trigonometry. So what is a right triangle and what is a Pythagorean theorem also? So now we will discuss about them. Right triangle or a triangle with one right angle and two acute angles. This relation among the sides is summarized by the Pythagorean theorem. A right triangle is a triangle with one right angle. It is equivalent to 90 degree. The side opposite of the right triangle, which is the longest side, it is called the hypotenuse. The remaining two sides that intersect to determine the right angle are called the legs of the right triangle. So let me give an example first. So as we notice, we have the right triangle here, and we have the opposite, adjacent, and the hypotenuse. So uh, based from this uh, example, we're looking for the hypotenuse. So given number one, A equals to three, B equals to four, and C is unknown. So we, we use a Pythagorean theorem to find the answer of hypotenuse. So the formula on how to get the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Or in other hand, c equals to square root of a squared plus b squared. So this is the solution from the given formula. Uh, c squared plus a squared plus b squared. So all we have to do is change the value of a and b which is the opposite and the adjacent so c squared equals to 3 3 squared plus 4 squared then c squared equals 9 plus 16 then 9 plus 16 equals 25 so we need to square root 25 so that we can get the perfect answer so, square root of 25 is 5. So, the answer is 5. Okay, that's all for today, class. I hope you understand our topic for today. Tomorrow, don't be late, okay? Okay, goodbye, class.